This is a jean upgrade from Hannah E. Gets Crafty. I bought these jeans at a Goodwill um, and I just said I'm going to make them look different, unique, special, whatever you want to call it. They're a good pair of some classic fit Lee jeans. The only issue I seem to have with them, um, they're short. <laughs> so whatever I do to it is going to have to extend them somewhat. But they are a nice fit to begin with. What I wanted to do was cut a piece out somewhere in the middle of them and put in a different color jeans. Because they're short, I said I'm going to take out maybe a few inches in the middle and then maybe I said I'll double the inches from the other jeans. So I said, hmm, maybe about five inches or something in the middle and then after I take out five inches I'll put in like ten inches so that um, it can be extended also I um, what else was I trying to do I want it to be like a different color like maybe a little fringy or something like that that's what I was thinking about so I looked through my jeans to see what I can put inside of the middle because these are really nice kind of baby blue jeans and I wanted something that's gonna really stand out so I was thinking as I was cutting and I did cut or put, bring out a whole pile of jeans but none of them seemed to have the right look so it took me a while to figure out what I was going to put in the middle of these like what color I was going to go for I literally was creating these things as I was working I had a general idea of what I wanted to do but I still was changing things up as I was executing it because I really have not seen this done before it's just something in my head that I wanted to try and that's just creativity for you just try it you don't need to have an example in front of you and then I found these dark jeans um, and I said let me just put these in the middle of it um, they are the same type of material as far as I'm not too stretchy and that's really important and I said 10 inches from this so that would give me an extra five inches of the short jeans plus I plan on letting out the um, letting out the what you call it I guess you call it a hem or something in the jeans to so have a full fringe effect I do regret not speeding up this part <laughs> But, um, yeah, these are also a little bit wider than my pants. These aren't my size, so it gave me a little bit more work to do. If you buy two jeans your size and the same type of fit, you probably have a lot less work to do. But, you know, I tend to buy extra large jeans when I'm trying to create things because it gives you more material like I always stick to jeans that are like 2x or size 24 or 22 just something really big because they cost the same thing in the thrift store and you just got more material to work with because a lot of times I make things that are like blankets and just different things and it's just good to have as much material as possible so when I want to do a project like this, I just literally buy my size and then just see what I have in the closet as far as extra denim. So these work. So I have to do a little bit of alternating. Here are all the pieces I need. decided to kind of lay them out I wanted to kind of get a feel of what I was doing and how wide everything is so I can see the dark denim is wider than 
you know, the jean denim I have. So I took some fabric chalk and just kind of measured where the extra, where the extra size is. And I took the time to take out the bottom. I probably carried the bottom to work and just took them out on the train or something. That's probably what I did to both of them. I just took some footage. So now I'm ready to focus and cut off the extra and just sew them closed again. So that's basically what I'm doing now. I did leave a little bit more space because you got to account for about a, I guess a quarter of an inch or, or more when you actually sew it. You're going to lose some more of the fabric, the jeans. This is going to be a quick stitch, so I basically kind of skipped over that, just stitch in a straight line. Now I have to put it together, but I do notice I have a little more extra, or just before I stitched it, sorry about that. Just measuring up where I have the pin is at, and as far as um, how far the stitch is going to go, because I didn't want it to be smaller. So after I stitched them together, since the, um, the dark fabric at one line, now I had to figure out how to put them together to stitch it to make it a little easier. So I put one of them inside out and one of them on the right side and that basically, have, I have to pin them together and cuff the sewing machine. But I do want the stitch to be on the outside. I want it to be like distressed and fringed. So I basically flip one of them inside out and the other one right side in. And then when I stitch them and pull them apart, you know, the stitch will be on the outside. It. Now I'm going to give it just a quick stitch going around. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, standard. If you're just learning how to use a sewing machine, this shouldn't be too hard. Just cuffing it and sewing it around. None of this take any real good sewing um, skills. Bought my first sewing machine. It was a simple hundred dollar sewing machine. You probably could pay even less for a sewing machine or get a used one. They all have the basic, simple things all the same. And once you learn on a sewing machine, you will never want to hand stitch anything again. You definitely want to 
have a sewing machine. So right here, I decided to give the fringe a little cut. Sometimes if you leave it plain, it'll fringe, but it'll take time over wash and wash and wash, but I wanted to kind of speed it up. So I decided to just fringe um, the connections. I didn't do anything to the ends of the pants because they tend to fringe pretty well on their own. So I basically was taking out, you know, what I sewn and then giving the fringe a little bit of snip here and there so that when I wash them, they will fringe up a lot faster. And you can see I cut it at different parts of the leg. I didn't want it at the exact part of the leg. I want one further down. And yes, I'm still thinking everything up as it goes along. Because I wasn't sure if I wanted patches, if I wanted stenciling. I'm just thinking as I do it. And so I'm just laying it back on the table to get an idea of what I have so far. Then I decided I'm going to stitch that together. It's a little bit more difficult, I think, for the top part. It's just a lot of material. The other part was just a small piece of material I put together. Now I have to put in a longer piece of material with the top of the jeans. So this one was a little, much, little bit of a headache, but it's the same type of stitch, just more material all together so I had a little bit more fringing to do with the top of the jeans because um, I did the bottom part now I have to do the top part just trying to get it all set for when I wash them and they'll fringe more at this point I put the jeans together I'm just kind of just trying to fringe and take my time be patient and um, think of my next move because at this point I'm looking at them and I'm like, okay, um, I pretty much did what I said. Now what am I going to do to add on to it and make them a little bit more special? Because I looked at them I'm like, okay, I add the material. I still have to wash them, but I was concerned about the fit of the jeans. And when you're making something for yourself, you always got to try it on. So I had to try it on and just see how long the length is and I have to say I'm satisfied with the length it excuse my cat he just loves to be around but I put a little bit of distressing on it couldn't help myself I had to distress it a little bit um, I don't know if I own anything that's not distressed it's very rare if it's has to be distressed or bleached or something I decided to go with stenciling so I went with this stenciling. Um, this is a new brand. I will put the description in the below. Um, below. I um, decided to try something a little more better stenciling because uh, I normally had this other brand and it was just kind of transparent. And I also have these fabric markers. They look like they're um, sharpies, but they actually fabric markers you can buy markers that mark on fabric permanently and right here I'm trying to measure sort of to make sure I don't go out of a certain area but it's kind of useless I don't even suggest using um, 
the ruler, especially if you have a steady hand. I just don't believe in my handwriting and the steadiness of it. So I have the ruler around, but I just tend to overthink things. And when you're trying to just draw on your clothes and feed everything up, you shouldn't overthink it. But I don't have a whole lot of experience with it, so I'm overthinking it. I'm going with the XO theme, so everything on it, I just kind of want to have an XO with it. So I also got this tape, and I'm using it to kind of make a nice round circles for my the O. So what I have to do. Um, if you can think of anything that has an X and O in it, please put that in the description because I'm still trying to work on um, I can still add more to the um, the jeans there's more space to add more to you see in the end and I think that um, a lot of things get added over time so I did I did put a lot on here but it's still room for growth room for more so any XO ideas, I would take them because at the moment I only had XO and I had tic tac toe and an emoji. The emoji with the X over the eyes. So, any other ideas sounds great. So I basically have different size XO's and different size tic-tac-toes but I also wanted to make sure that I color the dark part of the denim too. Okay I'm overthinking this tic-tac-toe game I know I just wanted to like figure out a nice way to do it. Then I decided to not in the tic tac go to game and I was writing my move next which to me means I'm next and I'm about to win so sounds crazy but you know write your own thing whatever you want in the jeans so now it's time for the stenciling I decided to go with the Try to paint something white on the dark on the dark denim because you know the marker is not going to show up on there. So I need to use the white on there. And um, didn't have everything at the table, so now I want to do it carefully with the stencil. I am rubbing it around, but when I get close to the edge, I do up and down kind of blotting thing because that's the safest way to make sure that you're getting a good circle part and nothing seeping on the outside. So I spin it around, but when I got close to the edge, 
I definitely had to blot it. And so I decided to take the tape off and just let it dry and work on something else. So on the other leg, I kept with the XO theme. And I was so worried about painting freehand. I always, always paint with stencils. I normally would just get an XO stencil and paint, but I told myself I've got to work on freehand painting and just get better. This is my first time actually just freehand painting. So my little circle is dry, so I open up the black paint so I can paint the little face, which is identical to the other face I painted in black. I thought the pants could use a little more pop of color and I did a Google search for more XO looks because I just wasn't quite satisfied with what I was doing so I tend to stay on the safe side with safe colors. I like my black and my blue and my gray and my navy and I just said you know what I need to branch out put some pop of color in there. So even though the red was sitting there, I didn't know if I was going to quite use it. So I said, let me just add a little bit more something something to these jeans. And I saw this XO pattern. There's just a, a lot of XOs on the page. And it's not like I've never seen that before or done something like that before. But I completely forgot about that look where you just have a lot of XOs. And as I was painting these, I didn't notice as I was getting further and further down that somehow the XO's got a little bit bigger. So instead of um, getting upset about something that's permanent, I basically just embraced it and made the next row even bigger. So I basically had the XO's getting larger as it go down to the bottom this definitely takes time to dry so after I painted it I had to just kind of hang it up on a hanger but free and open so that it could dry overnight I decided to take some pictures of it, but then I said, hmm, these are for me. Let me try them on and see if they fit really well. So I went down to my cold basement and decided to take some pictures and try them on for everybody. So these are the jeans. I think they are fabulous. Yes. Thank you for watching. This is Hannah Erica of Hannah E. Gets Crafty.